fourth grade cougars, it's Mrs. Bellatash, and I'm glad to see you. I'm going to be talking about science and engineering this year. And we're going to start the year off with an engineering project. So let's start looking at our supplies and our science notebook. Okay, so let's take a look at our supplies and our science notebook. So you probably got a bag something like this. And inside, I want you to take out this stack of index cards. It might have a rubber band around it. So what we're gonna need today is this stack of index cards and a little bit of tape if you have some tape at home um, and a ruler if you have a ruler. Um, and we're going to look at um, a technology and engineering problem. But first, let's talk about your science notebook. So I have a notebook like this. I am hoping that you have something like this. It could be one exactly like this, or it could be a spiral notebook or some other kind of composition notebook. So this is one, the one for me. It says, I put my name there, Mrs. Bellatash. Please put your name, don't put mine. Uh, grade four, and I put CCC, meaning Carpenter Community Charter, okay? Now I'm gonna open up the front cover, and I have a table of contents. Boys and girls, you also need to do this in your notebook. You need to write a table of contents on the first page, okay? And on the underneath the table of contents, I want you to write technology and engineering. So that is your first entry on your table of contents, and I'm gonna put page one. So technology and engineering, number one, okay? Now, you're going to skip the next page, so here's what we, where we wrote. We're not gonna write on the back of that next page. We're not gonna write on the next page. We're gonna skip that page. We're not gonna write on the back. And now this is going to be page number one. And I wrote a number one down there. And we're going to put the date at the top. So I'm gonna put August 24th because that's the date that I'm working. But you guys are gonna put whatever date you're doing this project, okay? August 24th is the date that I'm putting. And I'm gonna put the title is Technology and Engineering. And I'm gonna put that on the first line. Please do this with me as we are working it together. So I've got the date, I've got technology and engineering, and I have a page number down here, page number one, okay? All right, so now the question is, what is technology and engineering? Okay, so now the question is, what is technology and engineering? Let's start with technology. What is technology? Why don't you take a few minutes right now and talk amongst yourself, talk with your teacher, and what do you think technology is? Okay, technology. I'm sure many of you talked about iPhones and computers and uh, microwave ovens and things like that. And yes, those are technology, but technology doesn't have to be electronic. Technology is a tool, a system, or a process. Okay, so technology is a tool, a system, or a process. So let's think, what is a tool? Well, I have a spoon, and this spoon is a tool. It is a very simple tool. I can use it to eat. Um, I can use it to pry something up. I can use it to dig. So this is a tool because it's only one part. There's not more than one part to this. This is a tool. So a system, well, this tape is a system. It's this film and it's got this sticky part to it. And then it's on a roll and the roll is in a container and it 
can pull, I can pull it and it can cut. There's a sharp edge. So this is definitely more than just a tool, right? It is a system. So is a pencil. A pencil is a system. It's a pretty simple system, but it's a system. It's made out of wood and then it has graphite in the end. It has an eraser and it has this metal piece all around. So this is more than just a tool. This is a system. So what's a process? Well, a process is kind of like the directions to do something, right? The directions for something. So I do robotics. Uh, we have a robotics team at Carpenter. And this is the directions on how to build the field for the robotics competition. And it can, the directions could consist of pictures or it could consist of directions like writing. Um, a recipe is also a process. So please take a minute and write this in your notebook. Technology is a tool, a system, or a process. Now, what's engineering? Well, an engineer is a person who designs a technology. So let's write that in your notebook. Engineers design technology. Whoops. And that technology actually solves a human problem. Okay, so a technology is a tool, a system, or a process, and engineers are people who design technology that solves a human problem. You know what, I would really like to sit down right now. Oh, and guess what? Somebody designed a stool. A stool is a type of technology that solves a human problem. Okay, so I have written that in my notebook. I talked about what is technology. I said a tool, a system, and a process. And I talked about what is engineering and what do engineers do. So now I'm going to give you an engineering problem. A problem. So I have a banana and some fruit. I have a pear. You don't have to have a banana. You can have an apple or a pear or a peach. And I want to have a stand for my fruit. I want it to be displayed. And the only materials I have are these index cards. Mm -hmm. So I want to build a tower out of index cards and I have some things that are important. I need it to be at least 12 inches high, my stand, and it needs to hold this um, banana or fruit. And I can only use the index cards I have. So it's about 50 index cards. And I can use a little bit of tape, but I, you cannot tape it to the table. You cannot tape all these pieces together. You have to build mostly out of paper. So now we have to kind of look at, oh, how are we gonna do that? We need to do some brainstorming. Okay, so I wrote in my notebook the engineering problem uh, that I have to build a tower to hold some fruit. Now, I don't get to just make it out of anything. So there are some limits, or we in engineering we call them constraints. Some constraints that we have to work around. And I can only use a maximum of 50 index cards. And I have to use index cards. I can't use anything else. I can use a small amount of tape. It, my, in, my tower must be 12 inches or higher, but a minimum of 12 inches. And it must be able to hold the fruit up on top. So I can't just put the fruit on top and it collapses. It must hold the fruit, okay? All right, so... I'm going to, before I kind of, I need to do a little brainstorming. I need to think about this material. So it's made out of paper. 
paper is not very strong. Um, look, I'm trying to hold up the banana with the paper and it certainly doesn't work. So how can I change the paper in order to make the card stronger? Well, one thing I can do is I could change the shape. Sometimes when you change the geometry uh, or the shape of something, it becomes stronger. So like, I'm going to make a column. And again, I have to use just a small amount of tape. So I'm just gonna use a, just a smidge, just a teeny tiny bit of tape. And when I do this, I want it to be even. So I need to be careful how I tape it. Okay, so here's my column. Oh, so much stronger. If I have just a piece of paper like this, I can bend it so easily. But when I make it a column, it increases the strength dramatically. Now, this makes it three, this is three inches tall. I'm wondering if I make the column like this, if it might, it's taller. Let's see how tall this one is. It's five inches. I'm gonna see if I can make a column like this lengthwise instead of the other way. Small amount of tape. Okay. Huh. Do you guys have any idea, like, what might be the downside of this tall column? What might be the downside of the short column? Well, I think one of the things is that the short column has a wider base, and so it won't tip over. A positive thing about this column is it's taller, but I don't know if it will be as stable because it's skinnier. It's an idea. Okay, so I've got some ideas in terms of, of my uh, shape. So I could do a column. The other thing I could do is I could use, make a triangle, right? Triangles are very strong. And I could use, make a series of triangles. And not necessarily like this, this will be, will collapse. But if I put the triangle like this, it might be better. Okay, okay, I have a little base here. I, I have some, I made four little columns and I'm putting them kind of close together and I'm gonna put a card on top and I'm gonna see, ooh, my banana is, looks good, but it's kind of bigger than the, ba than the building. So I'm just thinking I might make my building a little bigger. Okay, so the columns hold up the banana. Of course, it's only three inches tall. Okay, let's take a look at something else. I made a big triangle and I'm going to put a card there and now I'm gonna try putting the banana on top. Perfect! Okay, so I have two different ideas. Now I'm gonna kind of like write down a couple of things in my engineering and science notebook. I'm gonna come up with two ideas and then I'm going to make a plan. Okay, I came up with some ideas. Um, I wrote one idea. I decided that I would do columns and I would do four columns long and two columns wide. And each one is three inches, so I need four layers and I would put a layer of cards in between. So that's one of my ideas. The other idea, this is kind of like a bird's eye view, is to have two sets of those big triangles and then put cards on top and I would have one, two, three, four layers. And you know what? I think I'm gonna try that one. I, I don't know, I like the column idea, but I think I'm gonna try the triangle idea. Um, so now I'm gonna get started building. Boys and girls, you need to come up with your own idea. You can have triangles, you can have columns, you could try, different shapes, it's up to you. Come up with two ideas, choose one of the ideas, and then we're gonna build it. Okay, here's the first layer. So you can see I made two sets of triangles, one inside the other, so give it extra strength. And now I'm gonna put 
a layer of index cards for the floor. And I'm gonna give a try with my banana. Pretty good! All right, I'm gonna keep building. Okay, here's the second story. I'm going to see how the banana does. Pretty good! All right, here comes the next floor. Okay, I'm ready for my next layer. I've got the third floor. Here comes the banana. Still successful, except I have a little problem. I've been making the floors really strong to hold the banana, and I need 12 cards for each floor just for the triangles. I have 50 cards. I don't have enough cards to make a double layer for the last one. So I'm gonna see if I can just make a single triangle and it'll be strong enough to hold the banana. Okay, this is my last floor and this one is thinner. I don't have as many cards and I only have two cards left for the actual floor of my building for the, for, that the banana is gonna go on. Okay. Here it goes. Ah, okay, it still works. But you know what? I probably should have done a little bit better planning in advance, right? I should have counted out how many cards I have. I should have been like a little bit more careful about how many supplies I had available. But so far, my tower has been pretty good. Okay. So here's my tower and I was successful, although almost wasn't successful because I was running out of cards. I should have planned that a little bit more. So now I'm gonna go back to my engineering notebook and I had my idea number one, I had my idea number two. I'm gonna turn the page over and I'm going to write about my build. And I'm going to say that I should have been a little bit more careful about my supplies, about the quantities. I should have planned that out a little bit better. Besides that, I think the build went pretty well. How could I improve? Well, my number one improvement I would have been to make sure that I'm more aware of my, the quantities of my supplies. I also think that it was really good to have a really strong bottom, bottom floor because that holds up the rest of the tower. But as I went up, I don't know if I needed to have as many cards um, for the, all of the triangles. Um, so that's just some of the ideas, some ways that I might improve my build. So make sure that you write down some, some what happened to your build, whether it was successful, whether it was not successful, and how you would improve your building if you had the chance to do it again. All right? Next week, we're going to start talking about energy, and we're going to start our actual science unit. But actually, this building project is about energy, too, about balancing the forces, using energy to build it. All right, we're going to get into it next week. See you later, guys.